Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Conversations with Coaches podcast. I'm your host, Kevin. I am delighted, to the surprise of no one, <laughs> to be seeing and talking to Sohi June again. She is very, like, rapidly, within a matter of minutes, became one of my favorite people I ever talked to, let alone interviewed. And we jumped right into a Zoom room. She lit up the Zoom room, which I didn't know was something you could do. She did it. <laughs> We've already <laughs> talked about her grace and elegance, but... Let me reacquaint you with Sohi real quick before we jump in to talk about the new exciting stuff that's coming up right around the corner. As a top leadership coach, keynote speaker, leadership development expert, and Amazon bestselling author, we'll talk more about that in a moment, Dr. June works with high achieving women and emerging leaders to unleash their untapped power for themselves and for their teams. Now, I could go on for multiple more paragraphs, but I'm just going to let Sohi re reintroduce herself to you, Sohi. Thank you so much for shaving off a little time for me today. Like I said, I am already just vim and vigor. I'm like oh, already overflowing with energy just being in the same room as you. So thank you so much for sharing a little bit of your light with me today. Oh my gosh, Kevin, you are very infectious as a host. So I so enjoyed our first time and I can't believe we just said it's been a year. Reintroducing myself, Dr. Sohee Jun, I am a global keynote speaker, a thought leader in really all things mindset and women's workplace challenges and really working to transform the landscape of leadership. And I do that by coaching women, CEOs, founders, entrepreneurs, celebrities, production, creatives. So everyone that really wants to go from good to great. So that's what I do in the daytime. And then we'll talk about what I do after the coaching <laughs> stuff. And at night, you're a superhero. And during the day, you're a superhero. You're just a different superhero. It's, yeah, it's a superhero, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> so I, obviously there's just tons and tons and dozens of things I'd love to pick your brain about. Not the least of which stuff we were talking about before I hit record, like this gifting strategies and whatnot. I just, yeah. Again, I can talk to you about so much, but I want to focus on the exciting thing that is around the corner. You showed me the cover. Obviously, this is an audio podcast, so the audience won't get to see unless they click the link in the show note to buy the book called The Inner Game. Tell me about The Inner Game. Give me, skim the surface. Obviously, we don't have all day and we could take all day. I know we could. So tell me and tell the audience, most importantly, a little bit about this book you've got coming up in just a matter of weeks when we're recording this. By the time you're hearing this, it'll already be out probably. So yes. speak on it. So The Inner Game is such a special book to me. So the full title is The Inner Game, Secrets of High Achieving Women for Navigating Work, Life, and Mindset. And the reason why this one is so special, it's my second book, and any author will tell you that each book is unique and special. And this one is really one that allows women that are super ambitious, that are really successful to feel connected and to feel seen, and also to know that there, there are people really rooting for them. So this book context is it culminated in me doing a, a study, a research study for a year in which I surveyed the, the clients that I get to coach, that I have the honor of coaching, which are highly successful female CEOs and founders and leaders at all levels, and those women around me. And I got really curious about what's their mindset and navigating challenges. And as they were sharing nuggets with me and as I was helping them as their coach to go from good to great, it really was about how do I unlock all of this wisdom, Kevin, that they're sharing with me so that women out there that may feel alone or that don't have a tribe or that don't have real, real mentors that they can trust and be vulnerable with can find it in this book. And also what I know is that when women come together and when we do that over dinner at the theme being the kitchen table, the, so the book setting is at my kitchen table where I invite the readers in to sit down with me and the collective that I've surveyed, where we talk about things like what is your dominant mindset as you navigate challenges? Because there are many that are helpful and supportive and others that are not so supportive. And things like, okay, what's the worst advice you've received and why? <laughs> and what's the best? The flip of that is obviously what's the best advice you've received. And we talk about things like what keeps you up at night? And what would you tell yourself in your 20s if you're not in your 20s? And also looking ahead future-proofing your career, what would you tell yourself going forward? What are the things that you would think about? 
And I end, the book ends in a really lovely look at the decades of a woman's life mm -hmm. and points out some of the poignant milestones that they may be going through. Things like, hey, I got my first promotion, or you may be wanting that first promotion in your 30s. Here are the things to think about. Mm -hmm. So it's really unique in that it's such a collective book of wisdom and advice and and more importantly, insights that mm. I've collected through all the years that these women have collected through the years. And oh my God, it's in one book. <laughs> I so love the analogy of the of just the dinner table because it's, it's so perfect in so many different ways for everything that this book does. Just the way like I'm I'm thinking of just uh, sitting around a table, everyone bringing their own dish, maybe maybe a little bit of a potluck for some. Evan, but you don't that have is to bring exactly what like, we do. You know, yes. if, if all you have is yourself, bring yourself. So everyone's invited to the table and you come and you're not only sharing what you have to offer but i'm also like in my head i'm hearing like the clink of plates being passed to each other where you're grabbing something that somebody else brought and pat getting some for yourself because it was like i need a little bit of this mindset casserole or whatever it happens to be yeah. i'm like really stretching the analogy but then you're also passing it to the other people who are around you who are reading the book who are finding community through this book or already have community and are sharing this book with each other it's just it's just a beautiful vision of just seeing everyone around this dinner table nourished being nourished and nourishing each other oh you said it so lovingly it's beautifully cap captured by what you said yes and we were talking before we started recording kevin about the cover of the book and your listeners yeah. will see that it's very intentionally designed to be one that's both bold and inclusive it's a circle mm -hmm. that is including different colors which talks to the diversity of the women and the people that are going to read this book and really benefit from it. So I'm, I know in my work as a coach that I get to help people one-on-one. -on -one, and it's really about amplifying how I can be in service and how these women can share their wisdom and mm -hmm. paying it forward by thousands. You have a, a coach is always a good coach is always a connector. Obviously, so much of the coaching work is one-on-one -on because -one you go to such great depth. But there's just something about you have all of this I guess access is a way to describe it, where it's like you've really, you've gone deep with so many, not just so many people and so many women, but different kinds of women at different stages of their lives, yeah. at different stages of their careers, at different moments of vulnerability. And you have such an ability to not just take that for yourself and then regurgitate it as your own, but to directly connect what the, the, what mindsets, what life experiences, what great successes and teaching failures that people have gone through and then just connect those directly plug them directly into <laughs> the people who are going to read this book and the other people that you interact with and even me i'm getting tons out of just this little tiny conversation to where i'm like i'm getting beside myself to i can't wait till your book's out so i could read it <laughs> you need to read it kevin it's and i know it's a, a book for women and men will also benefit and we'll want to read this too, because it's so applicable across the board. And yeah. what you said about the connective stuff, I always talk about my, the work that I do in service of coaching leaders is an honor. And the piece to that makes it so um, impactful is the connecting the dots and being able to do that to what you're saying. And, and th that's exactly what this book does. And it gives women access that I have the honor of having. And for those that don't, it's here you have it. And let's dive into all of the nuggets in here. And are you ready for this journey that you're going to be on? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so it's beautiful. And and along with that, your audience will see that when they go to my website, they'll see ways that they can have their own dinner parties because there will be guides and booklets for them to use and leverage. And it will be all at the ready at my on my website, which is also launching brand new in, next week, actually. Ooh, awesome, awesome, awesome. So many new uh, things. Such exciting. You caught me at a great moment, Kevin. <laughs> right? <laughs> We're all flush with the energy of a new year. And so I often find that this is funny because obviously you've been working on this book for quite some time now. We talked, we were talking about it when we first booked this meeting months ago, but it's so much of the, of the success of the beginning of a new year is all the groundwork is laid in the year previous. And so it's sometimes you're aware of that and very conscious of it and are working very actively to lay those tracks, lay, blaze those trails so that you you fall into the next year, whether it be 24, 25, 30, whatever it happens to come next, where you're just hitting the ground running and you're like, all this stuff's lined up, let's go. And there's also space for new things to come to occur. It's, it's really beautiful when you just step back and look at it. It's, wow, I really, I did that. 
<laughs> I committed to that and it's really set me up beautifully to have this great moment here at the beginning of the year where it's like new book launch, new website launch, new everything. And it's, I just, I get so excited by it. I'm like, I'm at a loss for words, which is not a great place for a podcast host to be, but I love it. <laughs> and I love your enthusiasm. And look, I actually wrote, again, the timing of this could not be more beautiful. So today I launched my monthly newsletter on LinkedIn. So for those of your yeah. listeners who they can find me on LinkedIn. It's called The Inner Game of Leadership. And all of this is so tied together. And the reason why I believe so much in the book being about mindset, The Inner Game of Leadership is all about mindset. And this today, the newsletter that launched is all about the resolutions and how to ensure success for once and for all. And I'll tell your listeners here, please go read it and also know that it's, to your point, Anytime we want success or to bear the fruits of fill in the blank, whatever you want to come to fruition, it's really about two things. It's not sexy. It's consistency and the systems that you put in place. Mm -hmm. So show up, even if you don't feel like it. And one of the things that I coach people around is look, emotions and feelings come and go. It's really, how do you keep doing it on a consistent basis? Whatever the it is, whether it's writing a newsletter, doing a book or growing your business or fill in the blank, that's unique and special to you. It's doing it consistently over time. And then do you have the systems in place? So for me, I'll take the example of writing this book, which is I know myself enough to know that I need people to check in with. So I had a weekly check-in person I have a coach that coaches me weekly. And I also had a project manager throughout the life cycle of this book who I worked with intimately because guess what? I know me to know that I won't do it every day. And then the book will be just an idea, right? And anybody that's successful and anyone that I've ever coached that wants to do anything worthwhile and that they want to see come to fruition, it is about those two things. It's consistency and putting in the accountability factors, the systems mm -hmm. that will get you through when you don't feel like it. Because we all mm -hmm. will, right? We're all full of energy in January. And by February, there's stats around this, Kevin, by February, 80% mm -hmm. of people have fallen off their motivation treadmill and they're like back to what was before. So mm -hmm. we have to set up those accountability things. And when I spoke with my mentor and a dear friend of mine, Marshall Goldsmith, who is yeah. the world's top coach, he's Thinkers 50, millions of books out there that he's written. He himself has an accountability partner that he checks in with every day. Did you notice I said every day? So, yep. you know, if he has somebody that he's accountable to, I think we can all find a system that helps us stay on track. And that's what the inner game is all about. I couldn't agree more. And you said something at the beginning of that where you talked about it's not all that sexy or not so sexy. For me, structure is sexy. Sturdy mm -hmm. is sexy because what you've done is you've you've opened yourself up to allow people to help you to achieve what you want to achieve. And I know it's, I'm being a little bit cheeky and I like the sound of it when it came across my head, sturdy is sexy. Because it, it really is, because because what's, what's really sexy is when you are able to reach the heights you know you can achieve. When you do it with a team, when you do it in service of each other, it's just, it really, and you really can't go as high as you should be going, as high as you want to go, without that structure. So you really yes. can't achieve the heights of your inner sexiness without the accountability, the structure, the the processes, the help that we all need to get to where we all want to go. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I think that is quite sexy. And I think we should maybe do a little slight redefinition of what that might mean. <laughs> I love that, Kevin. I love that we're, let's flip it on its head. And yeah. You know, going back to the book, that is the structure that women can find. It's chapter by chapter. It is very intentional to give them things to put in place for themselves for that unique definition of success that they have. So I love that. I love reframing things because we came up with a quote even before we started record recording. What was that? Lisa? It was something about elegance. It was yeah. own your elegance. Elegance. <laughs> Before we, we wrap up, at least recording, of course, I'm going to chat with you a little bit after recording, but I want to give you a chance to say where people can find you. Obviously, you mentioned the website that's launching soon specifically for the book. You obviously have your own website for all of your coaching. You're obviously very active on LinkedIn with a newsletter and other posts. So tell the audience where they can best start if they want to just learn more about you, learn more about the book, buy the book. Let me lean into the microphone pre-order the book. Just going to put that out there right now. And just in general, just connect more with all things Sohi. 
Thank you, Kevin. So first, the book is on Amazon.com. So find it on Amazon and please leave me a testimonial, a review. It means the world. I read every single one. So thank you for that. Oh. And the best place to start is on my website, which is all things, all roads to Dr. Sohi. It's <laughs> www.com. And there they can find everything about coaching my books, the workshops that are associated with it, all of the different articles and the podcasts I'm on like this one. It's all in one place. So that is the central and I check it every day. So the second place is LinkedIn under my name, Sohi John. And then the third is Instagram. So I'm definitely active on there as well. So three main channels, but please, this book is so go by the book. I'm not going to be shy about saying that because I ask people to put their money where your mouth is, <laughs> is by my book. <laughs> It's, 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 it was clear the first time we met, it's clear in everything that you put out into the world that I, at least that I've seen is you have an understanding and this is so vital for every, for anybody who wants to coach or really be a leader in any way. You have to understand what your value is. You have to have some ability to value what you have to contribute. So otherwise you will talk yourself out of doing anything at all. And so it's, it, I think too many good, maybe even great leaders tell themselves a story about their value or fail to tell themselves an accurate story about their value. And so they don't say, buy my book, find my book, connect with me. Let's go. Let's talk. Let's work. More leaders should have that sort of mindset, if I may say so, Thank to you. value themselves and by doing so, learn how to value the people around them and the world in which they live. Yes. Thank you so much. I'm on a mission again to transform the landscape of leadership. And this book will, I think, resonate in that way. So thank you for having me on. To say it was my pleasure is an understatement. I'm glad you had a great time too. I know the audience is going to have a great time because you're great to talk to. You're great to listen to. So thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I think you really have made my day and it's still, I have so much day ahead. So I'm, it's, <laughs> it's all gravy from here for me. <laughs> but for the audience too, I just want to say one more time, you, I, I know I say this often that you know what to do next, but links will be in the show notes to everything. Do yourself the tremendous favor of, at the very least, subscribing to the newsletter on LinkedIn so you can learn more about the inner game. At least click over, just find the book on Amazon. At least read the book blurb. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. And just, and then, however the spirit moves you, I'll let you take it from there. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for sharing your time with us today. I always love thinking of you and hearing from you. So thank you, thank you. And one more time, Sohi. I'm, I'm just so glad that you're in the world doing so he things and so he ways. You have such a light to you, but it's also very focused, not like a magnifying glass focus, more like a prism. You're just refracting and reflecting beautiful colors out into the world. And now I'm I'm speaking poetically. So it's time to wrap it up. Just thank you for being you. Just thank you. Thank you for being you in the world. I love it. And I'm just glad to have a, a little bit of your light in my life. Thank you, Kevin. Likewise. And to the audience, we'll talk to you again soon. Share a little light today. <laughs>